the soul patch, also known as the sideways mustache, the french fry of disaster, or the zigzag of zag. A seemingly harmless patch of hair, but reports are patching in that it's becoming somewhat of a problem. I sat down with one of the local patchies to see if his soul patch was as dark as his soul. Eric Colucci, the soul patch, a hardcore facial feature. How did you get down such a dark path? It started out as a mustache and then I went on to a Fu Manchu, which is down the sides. Then I went to a full beard for a while. And then, you know, before I knew it, I had a soul patch and I was shooting up heroin every day. Now, is this something that you seen coming on gradually? Or one day did you just think, oh my god, I have a soul patch? Well, yeah, I mean, when you... <laughs> um, I know, it's a tough subject. Well, you know, when you experiment with... When you experiment with facial hair, it can, it can be unpredictable sometimes. You know, you go into the bathroom and you just start shaving, and then all of a sudden, you know, you have a soul patch, and you think, hey, that looks pretty good. Did any of your family or friends, teachers, anybody educate you on this facial hair growing up? Uh, yeah, I mean, parents, teachers, they all try to warn us about this kind of stuff, but... Once you're staring at the mirror and there's a soul patch looking back at you, you kind of think, well, maybe all those after-school specials were wrong. Now, I know in society today, uh, facial feature is on the rise of becoming somewhat popular and the cool thing to do. Was there any peer pressure growing up in school? Yeah, there was some. I mean, uh, there was a guy in our high school named Robin Williams and he he was a very popular he was very popular and uh, one day he comes up to me and uh, I had just I was trying to grow a full beard and it was just kind of some peach fuzz and he comes up to me and he says listen knock it off with the beard shit if you don't grow a soul patch you are never going to amount to anything it's really messing up Eric's life I mean I, I just pray to God every single day that, you know, I had this cancer for 14 years because I can never grow soul patch and such a disgrace to our family. I think athletes should be blamed because they grow facial hair because it'll make them hit the ball harder or run faster or shoot better. Uh, they don't have they don't realize the influence they have on these children. I mean, everyone says that they want to be like um, Rex Grossman. Who influenced you in your decision? Well, there were some celebrities. Um, you know, Beyonce, Lady Gaga, Barbara Bush. You know, those, they, you know, they really knew how to work a soul patch. What about anybody in your family, uh, siblings? I know uh, siblings uh, tend to influence you quite a bit growing up. Were they in the same facial features as you? Well, my little brother, Alan, has had cancer for the last 14 years, so he hasn't really hasn't been able to grow any hair with the constant chemotherapy. Uh, but my older brother, Justin, uh, he seemed actually sort of jealous of it. Uh, he, he would do things like uh, he'd call the, the soul patch SP like that was really cool um, he would constantly he would constantly uh, make fun of me or say oh look it's uh, Eric and SP like yeah that's real that's a really funny joke what what health risks have you faced uh, keeping the soul patch for as long as you have well you know there's the headaches you know I've had I've had, well, they say seven heart attacks, but like three or four of them were pretty minor. You know, sometimes I black out, uh, and, you know, that can cause problems, but I still, you know, I still drive around with the soul patch. You know, I'm not afraid to go out and be active. 
Uh, some people say that uh, people with soul patches shouldn't be driving, and I say, uh, well, then you're dumb. Now, the health risks that you've had, uh, has that uh, crossed over to anything as far as relationships with family or significant others? Yeah, I, you know, I missed a few minor events like uh, the birth and funerals of my four children, uh, a few birthdays couple episodes of Two and a Half Men, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I know there are some uh, circumstances uh, where with jobs or certain events that the soul patch is really frowned upon. Have you ever run into a situation where you've had to shave your soul patch for a certain period of time? Um, well, after the death of my fifth son, uh, my, what, my girlfriend really pushed me hard to shave the soul patch for his funeral and uh, we fought pretty hard about it you know, physically I'm saying you know punches were thrown by me I hit her in the face a few times uh, you know but finally she you know she convinced me with a gun to shave the soul patch uh, for just for the just for the one day for the funeral immediately after it was gone I started going into withdrawals uh, my my feet got bigger, uh, my, my nipples started to bleed, my fingernails grew at uh, five times the normal rate, which I did not think was possible, but that's what happened. Ever since he grew that soul patch, that's all he cares about. <laughs> he forgot our anniversary last year because he was at the barber shop getting it trimmed. <laughs> he barely talks to me. It's, he's always combing that damn thing. It's like... He tells me things like, you'll never be as good as this, as this soul patch and look at my soul patch when you're talking to me. And we haven't had sex in months and yesterday I, ca I caught him masturbating to a soul patch in the mirror. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about your criminal record? Uh, well, I did have five children die of neglect. You know, uh, as I said, the soul patch takes up a lot of my time. And uh, I was eventually thrown in prison. Thankfully, one of the most notorious prison gangs took me under their wing, uh, the Soul of Soul Patches. But, you know, I had to prove myself against the rival gangs, the badass beards, and the maniac mustaches. So uh, I made a shank out of potatoes, and I stabbed three members of each group, and I uh, scalped their mustaches and their beards and brought them back to the leader of the soulless soul patches. And after I did that, uh, I was accepted into the gang from then on and it really made uh, prison, you know, a pretty, pretty fun experience. After my sixth son was born, I really tried to get it together, but... Maybe I'll have this thing licked in time for his funeral.